Hello, very good evening. In today's lecture, we will learn how to use Google Scholar to do citations for your research articles and how to add the search citation information such as APA or IEEE standard and copy that from your Google Scholar and paste it and use it in your research article or thesis or abstract or survey papers or whatever you're writing. So Google Scholar is a primary source of searching articles but also of using citations. My name is Dr. Sean Murdy. Stay tuned and watch the video till the end and hopefully you will learn a lot about Google Scholar. If you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you receive the notifications of these tool tutorials regularly. Let's begin. Now, in order to do uh, first, we come here on Google Scholar. So, once we are here, you need to search for a particular uh, article. We search for something called virtual uh, reality. In other words, and I use just simple string, nothing else. Searching a document requiring a special strings and keywords and parentheses. This is again another trick I will be talking about in some other video. So this is what we get when we do a search. Okay, and I have already talked about this that what basically the title or what the basically these author names and all this data indicate in my previous lecture. I will leave the link down below. Check do check it out. Now, once you get the result, there is something called these double quotation marks. Again, the star refers to your library. This I've already talked about in another video in more detail. So once we are here, basically what you need to do is you need to come into and use this double quotation marks. This cited by indicates that how many times this article has been cited by. This is a good indicator of the quality of the document. The more it has been cited to a certain point in scientific terms, basically the article holds more value. Sometimes that might not be completely true as well. So there is an arguable debate. We'll talk something for uh, other people to do. But um, I will not go into that debate. Like I said, let them do. Um, what basically it means that this article has enough value, enough content, enough potential results, probably that people who used or who searched for this topic found it interesting and referred to it. So some articles have certain number of citations. Some you would find have a many, many, many more. So this indicates that this article has been uh, cited by that many number. You can obviously view this citation count as well. So for example, if I come here, virtual reality PDF, it's a 99, but uh, 90, year 1999, so it's not interesting for me. So what I do is I change the year. So let's just make it more relevant. So from 2017, I think would be good enough. Then once I hear, again, you can now see cited by 42, cited by 10. So for example, I find, okay, this is nice, but I want to know who cited this article. So when we do research, we click on this cited by it as well. So this will give you that this article was cited by who other author, which other article. This is where we can get more data about citation as well. Okay, so now I have one article and within that article, I have more articles that are interesting to me. Okay, so this becomes uh, one way of finding more relevant material that might not be directly available within your first query string. So cited by will give you how many times the article has been cited. And if you click on a link, it will tell you who has cited that article. And that article, again, the same data is available for that article as well. You can see that this article again has been cited 16 times, 9 times times and review of self motion on context forget forget etc etc so if you find this interesting you might say okay uh, this is again interesting but it has also been cited five times i want to see who is also working on self motion so i click on this one and we get this data as well so now you have plenty of references plenty of articles that are being looked into it we come back to the original article now the our main task was to find out the reference of this particular article so i click on this quotation mark so you see these double quotation marks this is basically where we copy the citation so if i click on it you would get the site these are default five different styles of citation and you can also export the same citation in bib text and no ref man and ref works format as well so most probably we use APA in my case. I copy this and then I go inside my article. Um, for example, let me open a blank word file. Okay, so this is my article title. Okay, uh, author name and then abstract for example and then i have something called introduction and i am talking about virtual reality okay 
and now I need to give a reference here and then in the end I have a tab called references as well so what I do is I come back inside here uh, let me just make it more apparent uh, bold and increase their size so I have these few things available here we go okay so let me it looks more like an article now so I'm so I'm talking about basically virtual reality so I need to copy the reference I come back inside my word this is the reference I copy it it's the reference here if I'm using IEEE I copy the reference here and I give the number here this is how simple and easy it is okay so we come back into our code we find an article that's interest me. I have already downloaded it. I've read it. Now I come back into Google Scholar. I search the article or the title or the topic again, and I just copy its citations from here. So I click on this one. The citation is again generated as per Google Scholar understanding. I copy the APA style or whatever style you're using. Basically, you can copy any of this. Control C. I come back here and I just paste the core reference here. Then I come back here, give it, for example, number two and similarly i talk about applications of virtual reality and then i gave the reference name like that so this is what basically referencing a citation means you write a string and then you cite it that i took or the reference on the concept of this thing from this particular paper and this paper reference has been given here obviously i've not downloaded it i'm just using it typically you would download that paper you would read the paper and then you would find it interesting so for example i have this paper and let me just click on this pdf as well so for example i have found and i think it's being downloaded okay let me just download it into my downloads and i have this article so i double click and open it so i have this article so i read the article or I've already pre-downloaded multiple articles and I find, oh, okay, this is very interesting and I need to refer this article back inside my system. Now what I do is, I don't know reference, I have not created reference. What simply I do is, you double click on the title, go back into Google Scholar, just paste the title here, click on search, you get the article. Once the article is here, you click on the site, double quotation marks, you get exactly correctly formatted reference. You just copy this reference here you come back inside your Word document, wherever you want to put the reference, you put the reference here and you insert uh, as already the IS discussed in the, sorry, in the review paper and then I give the review paper reference. So if this is supposed to be three, I come back here and I give the three reference. Okay, so this is what basically allow how we do citations very simply. You search the paper, you find the article, and you use this double quotation marks for to search the articles. Sometimes what happens is that this is the, not the reference or correct reference you are looking for. This is what this uh, all five versions basically indicate. If I click on all these five versions, this basically means that this article is also indexed in some of the other indexing libraries as well. And there are certain other versions. Probably it would be same article, but it is available in other libraries as well. And some might be available for download or for reference or whatever purpose you want to use it for. Okay, so you can see this and you can cite this error here. But basically Google Scholar recommends this one, which it can save it in its library. It has the citation information and so on and so forth. So it says this is the recommended one because it can give more data to it. But there are other versions available from other libraries where this article has been indexed. Not published, it has been published by the same journal, but the journal has a given authority for other indexing servers to index this article and it is available from those libraries as well. Okay, so this is what basically it means when we see uh, all five versions. Sometimes it might not be the case, it just says all seven versions, it has all 15 versions. Okay, so this basically means that if I click on this article here, uh, you can see that I have it elsewhere, but because it's a very common or very famous journal it is also indexed in other government libraries as well and you can find find this article from others indexing libraries online as well which might not be very useful certain point if because you just need to refer into article but sometimes it's good to know where it is available it might be available free sometimes it's not free in science direct you need to know if i can find this article free of school cost from some other library and it can be search in this particular manner see this i have a pdf of research kit so it's html this might not be free but if i come here i found this article has been indexed in research gate probably by the author himself putting up a pdf so i can click here and i can get the pdf of the article 
Yeah. So this is one way of obtaining the documents, which might not be available in a general case free of cost, right? So if sometimes they are, um, you can go they get download them anyway. Okay. So in this case, it is downloadable. So author has not done anything uh, against its copyright. Uh, sometimes journals hold the copyright and they don't allow you to distribute the articles freely. They require you to purchase the PDF, right? So that's another monopoly or another thing to talk about. But in this case, because this download, this article probably is um, open source or what we call um, uh, free to download. So that's why it's also indexed in uh, ResearchGate as well. So nothing to worry about in that matter. Okay. So hopefully you understand this. Uh, we search an article. We use this double quotation marks to find an article. You can use cited by to know who else has cited this article and you might be interested in that aspect as well. And you use that as well for your benefit and find more relevant articles for yourself. Okay. So we search for the article. We use this double quotation marks as well. Sometimes you require bib text as well. So for example, if you're using latex or you are using Mendeley and you need to import the export, you can click uh, on your bib text and it will give you a bib text format of that reference article as well, which you can use in your JebRef or your Mendeley or your uh, latex, uh, whatever you are using for the purpose. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if hopefully you understood something. If you still need to learn something or you didn't understand or you want to know more about a few things, do let me know in your comments down below and I will try to assist you. This is Dr. Sean Bridding. Thank you very much for watching.